Hey everybody, we're back with episode 38, and this is part two of Tour. 38, part two. 38. Boop, 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 boop. Boop. Okay, so we're just going to get into it. We're going to start boom. with our little handshake, secret mm -hmm. handshake, boom. And then we're going to get right into it because <laughs> you guys, we had to do a part two because we have 21 cities to cover, <laughs> So, and we only did one on mm. part one. <laughs> so if you're new here and you haven't watched part one, Go watch part one. Yeah. Okay. It'll give make you more, more sense. It'll give more context and everything like that. Right. Correct. Okay. So we started the tour mm -hmm. with uh, talking about New Jersey first. Yes. And now we're going to go to the second one, which was Tennessee. Tennessee. So Tennessee. we went from New Jersey to t straight to Tennessee. Mm -hmm. So um, I didn't write a lot of notes on this one. No. Um, but I did write cowboy boots and hats because <laughs> how we planned this, you guys is, Hey, let's write all 21 cities down. Yeah. And then, well, first let's like do the, all the before and the prep before tour. So Correct. everybody can kind of get a behind the scenes on what we did mm -hmm. to prepare for the tour. And then mm -hmm. the tour starts and then we get to Tennessee and I'm like, I just wrote down, uh, boots and cowboy hats. Yeah. Cowboy boots and hats. Yeah. What did you write? Uh, in my in my notes, I wrote racially profiled. <laughs> uh, that's not not true. It was a core memory of Tennessee. <laughs> <laughs> that was mine. Which is such a shame because we've never been to Tennessee. No. Um, the the girls have been because they mm -hmm. went to Bonnaroo, but we never have. <laughs> and they were telling us about like this like one strip where like all the bars are yeah. and the cowboy boots yeah. and whatever. And they said, it's really fun. And we're yeah. like, okay, our hotel literally was 10 minutes away. Yeah. We stayed in a really kick-ass and beautiful hotel. Mm -hmm. Staff is amazing. Um, and we got there and we were like, oh. And Drew's like, let's go get petties. Yeah. So me, Drew, Adam, and Carrie yeah. went. And I don't know what everybody else did. But we went and got pedicures, yeah. which was really nice. It was yeah. a really cool spot. And then we went back to the hotel yeah. and we were like, okay, cool. Let's like, let's go do something fun. Yeah. And Adam was like, let's go, you know, to that like one strip. Yeah. And we're like, okay. And then before we got to tour, remember um, Al Alex sent us a TikTok where there, someone did a TikTok on this boot store in yes. Tennessee that was buy one pair of cowboy boots, get two pair free. Yeah. And you know me, I'm a coupon bitch. I'm <laughs> all about the buy one, get one, not the BOGO. And so I was like, what? <laughs> Buy two, get one. Yeah. What? And I was like, let's go see if it's real. So fast forward, mm -hmm. it was me, Carrie, Jared, Alex, and Adam. Mm -hmm. So the five of us, no one else wanted to go. Mm -hmm. The five of us went downtown and it was, I'm like, okay, we're going to be okay because we have Tamlin Girl and we have <laughs> Carrie, karaoke, and they're both white. <laughs> and Jared. So, and Jared, oh yeah, and Jared, <laughs> he's definitely white. <laughs> and, um... <laughs> And me and Adam were the only brown people in the group. <laughs> but they they would walk in front and mm. everyone's smiling. And as soon as they see the two of us in the back, they're like. <laughs> and by they, I mean, it was mostly men that were yeah. racially profiling yeah. us and whatnot. So yeah. the girls had said the last time they went, it took them three times to get into a bar because yeah. they were making up excuses of why they wouldn't let them in. Mm -mm. And I was like, what the hell? And I was like, you know, it's like, oh, wow, that sucks. But you don't really think about it until mm -mm. you're in it and it yeah. happens to you. And so that was, you're definitely not wrong on that. <laughs> it was, yeah, it was really bizarre because mm. we've been brown our whole lives yeah. <laughs> and we have been racially profiled. But mm -hmm. it's it's a different vibe when you're out here in Southern California because yeah. there's a lot of brown people out here. <laughs> but when you go back to Tennessee, sure. it's a different vibe, yeah. very different vibe. But Suffice it to say, we found the boot store, yeah. and it was true. There, It was <laughs> buy one pair, get two free. <laughs> and I wanted to buy so many. So me, Alex, and Carrie, um, we bought. We each bought a pair. Yeah. And, um, we're part of that one, buy, buy one, get two Yeah, free. so it was basically they take the highest priced one, which, mm. of course, it was my pair. And they were like, I don't know, 300 bucks. Yeah. And then we just split the 300 amongst the – so we each got a pair of really – Nice, real leather cowboy boots for a hundred bucks. Yeah. 
It was really freaking cool. Yeah. And it was really fun because I was being dumb in the, in the boot store. <laughs> I don't know why, but I, putting boots on just makes me act a certain <laughs> way. And I was like <laughs> clopping around in them. And people were, it was busy in there. And people were in there going, watching me. And they were just laughing because I was carrying, which, what about this one? And I was like, I don't know. I had a. Was it, was it your back hurting the next day? You got all that dancing. <laughs> no, it wasn't. It was hurting. Well, yeah, it was hurting the next day. Maybe it was the boots. Because I get crazy. I don't know. It's like a, it's like the boots were like catnip for me. I just got all excited and started doing these dances. I think my back was already hurting, but I made it worse by clomping, clomping around in these boots. Yeah. And um, so we each bought a pair. It was mm-hmm. really fun. Mm-hmm. And then Adam's like, want to go look at cowboy hats? And I was like, <laughs> okay, I, I'm thinking for him. So sure. I said, okay, after these boots. So him and Jared went ahead and they mm-hmm. went to the next store, the boot mm-hmm. barn. And then they went and they were looking at stuff. And then we went and Adam's <laughs> like, come on, get a cowboy hat. I don't, I don't need a damn cowboy hat. <laughs> he goes, come on, please let me buy you a cowboy hat. And I go, all right. And so I bought one and I put the cowboy hat on and I had my boots and I just started dancing like a fool in the middle. It was really funny. I'm going to see if I can find the video and put it up here. Yeah. But even when I came back to the hotel and I was showing you, I was doing my little dance. Right. It was really fun. <laughs> I freaking love cowboy boots. I don't know what it is about cowboy boots, but that was my that was my core memory in Tennessee. Yeah. So. It, and, and the venue was nice. The Wasn't venue it? was, yes. Yeah. The venue was very nice. Yeah. And the people there were nice. Yeah. yeah. It, it was just in that downtown. It was packed with people. There was like a music festival going on in the middle of it. Mm-hmm. Um, oh my gosh. I just remembered. So when we went to go find cowboy hats, yeah. Adam bullied all of us into getting a cowboy hat because he's <laughs> like, it's on me. And we're like, but I'm, I'm like, how am I going to get this home? I don't want to carry a cowboy That's hat. That's what I was going to say too. But then I put it on and I was all, all right. <laughs> right. It was so fun. So we ended up getting one, but, uh, Alex found one that was like, um, it was a little bit too small for mm-hmm. her head. Mm-hmm. And then she's like, it's okay. I'll figure it out. I'll stretch it out. And I'm like, cowboy hats don't stretch out. Yeah. And the guy at the thing was uh, at the register was first he was hitting on Jared. <laughs> no, Adam. First he was hitting on Adam. Then he was hitting on Jared. Then he was hitting on Alex. So I was like, <laughs> what are Carrie and I chop liver? <laughs> but it was so funny. Cause he was like, go down to this bar, this boot barn. It wasn't even a boot barn. It was like some kind of, I don't know. It was a hat store mm-hmm. and with uh, a boot and hat store. And he goes and ask for so-and-so. It was like the mob, right? Ask for so-and-so <laughs> like, and they'll hook you up and fix your hat. So yeah. we're, okay. So we did. Yeah. And he put it on this little steamer yeah. and whatever. And then he puts it on Alex's head, right? To fit. And it started fitting better. Then he starts steaming it more. He puts it back in her head and he does a, he said he does the flick test. And I'm all, <laughs> what the hell's a flick test? And he goes, <laughs> <laughs> So I'm going to try and put a picture up here. I think I have video of it too. And he was, he did it and she was like, she's facing him and her hat's on and he's, he's, he goes, and she wasn't ready for it. And she's all, (laughs) I'm all, oh, that's the flick test. I didn't even know that was a thing. So, so what is it? So if it flies off too easy, is it too big? Then it's too big. Okay. But he flicked it and it was like yeah. perfect oh, okay because when it was too small he flicked it and it kind of went back yeah. that's the first time he did it but i didn't catch it on video and oh. she was all, right <laughs> and then he goes and does this steamy thing and he puts it on and he <laughs> and it didn't move and he goes yeah. all right we're ready <laughs> <laughs> so chime in if you know yeah. the flick test if that's a real thing i don't know that's awesome that was the first cowboy hat i've ever like real cowboy hat that i've ever yeah. owned so so we're, <laughs> we're literally in our second venue and noel accumulates <laughs> More things to put on a bus that we can barely fit on alone. <laughs> my, my, my suitcases were already packed to the brim when I got to the tour. Yeah. And I was like, eh, we'll figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> and I was telling Carrie when we were waiting, when Alex was looking for her hat, I, they have hat carriers. Yeah. It's like a little, it looks like a little lunchbox, but yeah, it's yeah, in the shape I've of a hat. Them. I've seen them. And I was like, should we get a hat carrier? And she's like, girl, knock it off. <laughs> I was like, what about the boot carriers, <laughs> right? And they had these boots. They were in the shape of a boot, and it's like yeah. a little zipper, you know? Yeah. And she goes, we don't need that. And I was like, she goes, we have bags, because they came in a giant bag. And I go, sure. all right, <laughs> right? And then as we're traveling, and we get back to the bus, yeah. I go, and then Carrie, Carrie and Alex are looking for places to put their boots. <laughs> and I already had my little cubby, so I already knew where my boots were going. But I was yeah. like, and then I looked at Carrie, and I go, you wish you had the boot carrier now, <laughs> don't you? And she goes, I know, we should have got the boot carrier. So, I know you probably could just throw those things in the trailer. I know. And no, never, yeah. never saw them again. And never saw them again until the end. Yeah. Yeah. In and that, then, I, and carriers. it has a handle on it, so you could use it as a carry-on. Sure. Yeah. And I was like, why do I listen to people? 
<laughs> Everyone makes fun of me when I want to buy dumb shit, but it always ends up working out. Anyway, that was Tennessee. <laughs> yeah. Crowd was awesome. We, I, I, this is going to sound like a broken record, so let me just put it out there right now. All of the fans were incredibly lovely. Yeah. You guys were amazing. Yeah. You made us cry yeah. because you came up to us and cried in mm -hmm. the meet and greets. Mm -hmm. Even afterwards, some people would catch us because yeah. we, we watched every show mm -hmm. in, in the crowd. Mm -hmm. And some of you guys would catch us and ask us if you could take pictures with us or whatever. Yeah. And you guys were amazing. We did not come across not one asshole. No. Which I knew we wouldn't. Yeah. But, you know, you never know. Sure. I don't know, weirdos come and, you know, that, that don't like the girls and sure. then they come and buy a ticket. Just, I don't know. I, I was thinking the worst, but yeah. not one. Everyone was incredibly lovely. Yeah. We did have a couple rowdy people, but that was always on a Friday or a Saturday yeah. because they're drinking and they're, they're yeah. having a good time. Yeah. Sometimes too much of a good time. But yeah. anyway, we'll get to that. But so I'll just put it out there. Mm -hmm. Every single show, everyone was amazing and sweet and just gracious and we're going to get into it because look at all of these <laughs> and all of these bracelets yeah. almost filled a whole thing <laughs> full of them. Yeah. Um, and I don't know. Do you want to just do our favorites right now? Like Go for it. there were so many. We love them all. But sure. some of them that stand that stood out to me was this one right here. Um, it's a little keychain and it <laughs> says mama bear mode, which I loved. That was yeah. awesome. And then there was this one that said brain blast because I say that on all every you know pod that we have every yeah. episode i'm like oh i just had a brain blast because yeah, the squirrel yeah, yeah. squirrel so <laughs> i freaking love that and i did get one that said squirrel on it yeah. too um, I saw that one too and then this one made me crack up and i sent it to my therapist because it said what would val do <laughs> 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 instead of what would jesus do <laughs> right i freaking loved it i took a picture of it and i texted to her and she couldn't stop laughing she's yeah. like man you weren't kidding when you said you talk about me a lot <laughs> And then uh, this one made me laugh out loud because it says pesto, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and if you don't know that, then go back and look at watch Two Idiot Girls because yeah. that's from that. Yeah. And then someone gave me this one that said Mama Off Wallow, which was super duper cute. Mm -hmm. And it has the LGBTQ um, colors on here. Yeah, I have the same one, but it says Pop Off Wallow. I love that. It's in there somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like yeah. in this sea yeah. of this giant flower vase that we almost filled to the top. Yeah. In fact, I think we can because we still have more in the suitcases. I just didn't want to drag the suitcases out. Right. Um, and then this one I love because a lot of the venues, and we'll talk about it in a second here, mm -hmm. but a lot of the venues, not a lot, um, a handful of the venues had Samoan girls yes. and women and femme yes. presenting people that came and they were so beautiful. Yeah. And um, this one says, because since we're talking about Tennessee, mm -hmm. this one says islands to Nashville. And I <laughs> thought that was so cute because we had some folks from some Polynesians yeah. in Nashville. Go figure. I know. So awesome. And then this right here, I want to go over this little little gem. Oh, yeah, that was We got so a bunch nice. of these, and they were custom made. Um, I don't know the guy's name. Wait, does it say it on here? Um, it says Lex, L-E-K-Z. But anyway, these are playing cards, and I haven't, um, I can't open them because of my nails. Well, actually, I can. But it's, it has um, tribal on these cards. Yeah. You can zoom in on those. So cute. And every, they're custom. Mm. And it says, um, like, a spade is Samoa, a club is Tonga, a heart is Hawaii, hmm. and a diamond is Maori, and the Joker's Tahiti, and <laughs> the other Joker is Fiji. <laughs> and I just thought, that's so freaking cute, dude, because, like, they're custom made and they're Polynesian um, playing cards. Yeah. And we played the hell out of these on the bus. <laughs> so I love this so much. And it was so freaking cute. Yeah. There were so many more things, and we have a bunch of cards and letters that you yeah. guys hand wrote to us. Yeah. We're like, we, uh, and like they would come through the VIP, and they're like, these are for you too. And we were yeah. like, what? Really? <laughs> That's so freaking sweet. Yeah. So appreciative. It was yeah. awesome. And so we loved them. Yeah. They made us cry. So thanks a lot. <laughs> um, but what do you say? What are your. Oh, I have over here, it's another keychain. I, I believe it's from the same one that made Mama Bear, right? Yeah. And it says, uh, Nervous Nellies Unite. <laughs> <laughs> so freaking cute, yeah. dude. I appreciate this one. Yeah. Yeah. My peeps. Right. Um, and then we also have one. This one's for Donnie's Donnie Dumps. Yeah. It says, The Donnie Dumps the Show. The Donnie Dumps. Yeah. <laughs> this is so awesome. And then this one, one of the uh, catchy, catchy uh, phrases they always say on TIG is, uh, Don't care. Yeah. Where's Rick? Yeah. Right. <laughs> Everybody knows that show. And then last one here is ACU for Life. Love. Yeah, this was so nice. Someone created that name, too. I don't... 
It was I don't know yeah, one of the one of the followers yeah, on one of them Two Idiot it. Girls called us the ACU yeah. and then it just kind of stopped. Yeah, but so there were cool. so many more. Yeah. So look at this jar full of awesome <laughs> bracelets. And yeah. the reason why people made bracelets is because on the Patreon, the girls yeah. have a Patreon on Two Idiot Girls, and there's like you know unique uh, footage mm -hmm. and unique things on Patreon. Um, so if you haven't joined, you should, it's five bucks a month and you get all this like, <laughs> no, seriously, you get yeah. all this exclusive, like if this stuff was available when I was younger, oh, or when we were, I would absolutely Eat pay $5 yeah, yeah. to like see behind the scenes yeah. and stuff like that. So there's going to be a lot of stuff from tour yeah. on there and stuff. So anyway, this is not to, Hey, go buy it no, it's <laughs> if you want to, yeah. right? But the reason why is because they built a community. Here's one of my favorite parts, and this is goes to all of all of the places we went. Sure. One of my favorite parts about this tour mm -hmm. is that the Patreon community mm -hmm. got together. Yeah. They formed a little group, yeah. right? And they fo actually they formed like a massive group. Like, oh, okay, hey, sure. we're gonna do it like the Taylor Swift show, and sure. let's make bracelets, and we'll trade them. Yeah. In the crowd, like when we get to the show, but we'll also give them yeah. to the off wallows. Yeah. And it was mind-blowing it was pretty cool like so tate and i can we're behind the scenes right we're behind the stage mm -hmm. or we're up in the in the balcony where mm -hmm. no one's at and we're watching down below mm -hmm. and we're watching people trade bracelets yeah. and we're watching people, strangers they strangers other, yeah. yeah coming together yeah. and that was my favorite thing about going to the taylor swift concert uh -huh. like i'm not a swifty by any means but when your daughter invites you to a box seat at the Taylor Swift show, you go. Sure. So I went and I was literally tearing up just seeing how everybody was getting together and just being so gracious to each other and so nice. So I, that was my favorite part of the tour yeah. because these, these people got together yeah. on Patreon yeah. and they were like, let's do this. And everyone's like, okay, cool. And then there was subgroups, right? For every city. So there was a Nashville group. There was a right. Boston group. There was a, and I can't tell you guys, and every time I saw them repost it or post it and tag us in it, it made me tear up every single time. Sure. They're like, I've never gone anywhere by myself. I'm an, yeah. like, I'm an introvert. Yes. But I'm going to yeah. this show because I really want to go. Yeah. And they were sharing this on Patreon. And then yeah. they're like in their respective group, like, let's just say it was Boston. And they're like, me too. Let's sure. meet up. My name's this. Let's swap numbers. Sure. So they swap cell phone numbers yeah. and they... And then they would take group pictures afterwards. Yeah. Look and at me share them. tearing up right now. Um, I and remember at the meet and greet, watching watching them come up and mm -hmm. meet the girls and meet you, of course, as you're taking their picture. Mm -hmm. And and then, you know, walking by me, they they they'd come by me after all that, right? Uh -huh. And then I hear them whisper or I hear them mm -hmm. say stuff, right? And the majority of the time it was, I don't know why I said that. You know, that was one of them, <laughs> right? An, a, another one was, I can't believe I did that. Yeah. And then you could you could see they came by themselves yeah. and they did it. And they, I remember hearing them tell the girls, I came by myself. I know. Yeah. And I'm, listen, one of the things, remember we said we didn't, in the first episode, we didn't, we said we didn't expect tour no. to be like it was. Yeah. One of the things was I did not expect, it was not planned, you guys, for me yeah. to be the photographer of every <laughs> VIP in meet sure. and meet Sure. It just, Phil was like, yeah, Noel's going to take pictures. I go, <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> At tour, by the way, before sure. the very first show. I yeah. was like, huh? <laughs> right? And so we did a lot of jobs we weren't expecting to do. Yeah. But then we, when we got in the groove, it was awesome. But yeah. we heard all of those stories yeah. that you're talking about. So fun. And Tate would stand off to the side. Mm -hmm. And I was like, hey, take pictures, take video. Mm -hmm. A lot of them are blurry. A lot of them are backs <laughs> of heads. It's okay. We'll take them. You did your best, honey. <laughs> but um, he would hear conversations, too. Yeah. And then that night... When we had our little cuddle time, <laughs> we would talk about, oh, I heard this person say this. I heard yeah. this person say this. And we were just like, Blown God, away. we love you guys. <laughs> we fucking love you guys. Such and good you're, people. Yeah, such mm -hmm. good people. And a lot of you guys would, would share stories with us during the meet and greet. Yeah. Like, I, uh, you know, I, I've gone no contact with my family. Yeah. Or I grew up with no parents. Yeah. All these stories. And like, I'm, I'm, a, I'm like trying to be intentional about sure. listening. But I'm like. Alex is like, no, well, the next picture. And I was like, oh, I'm so sorry. I have to go, you know, <laughs> but I wish we could have stayed there and talked yeah. to all of you. Had I not been roped into taking pictures, <laughs> both of us would have been off to the side and then we could have had longer conversations sure. with you guys. So sorry if we didn't get a chance to really talk. Right. But um, I think you needed to be in that position. Yeah. Because it, it seemed like um, um, the way the way the routine was and the yeah. way it worked, it was it was making the, the guests feel comfortable. Yeah. And talking, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And your face and your smile, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, like yeah. it's so greeting. So I think that was important for you to be in yeah. that position. 
So speaking of, I know we're like, we only talked about Tennessee, but this, <laughs> this, this is across. No, 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 it's not you. It's like, this is just how it goes. Uh, yeah. Roll with us, guys. <laughs> um, all what we're about to see, you know, all these things we're talking about was like at every show, yeah. which was bananas. Bananas. Um, but it was like they, they were starstruck mm -hmm. seeing the girls. Mm -hmm. Then they would be starstruck. They turn around and notice, oh my God, the mom's taking yeah. pictures. And then <laughs> that they was would, pretty funny that uh, I heard that girl say, yeah. Oh, and the mom's here taking <laughs> pictures. Yeah. And then I would go, because because I'm an asshole, I would like put my thumb to the right and like point out Tate. Everybody yeah. perceived Tate. And then yeah. they would go, and the dad, what? You know, yeah. the dad is here too. Yeah. You know, and then he's like, stop pointing to me. And I was like, no. <laughs> right because it's funny <laughs> but um but yeah you guys were so great yeah. and just the i think it's the community yeah the community that the girls have built yeah. was is just phenomenal i know and as a parent you want to see that you want to see your kids having an impact yeah. in ways that don't have anything to do with money they don't have anything to do with status they don't have any anything to do with that shit no. it's all about just being a kind human yeah. and people connecting with that yeah. and watching them tell us your daughters have changed my yeah, life changed or life. Drew yeah. has changed my life. And I read this book and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And they were always floored when I, they were like, you know what I mean? And I go, well, I haven't read the book. And they're like, what? <laughs> I read it in micro doses because every time I read it, yeah. it makes me cry. Same, same, same Jason, same me. Too. Mm -hmm. same. So I haven't finished it. I've, I've started it. Yeah. And we, by the way, guys, we've had the book since May Yeah. <laughs> or April or April, yeah, early yeah. on, we've had a yeah. we've had the manuscript for yeah. months. I won't even attempt to listen to it. No, I told you guys when I yeah. listened to Drew because Dace and I were there. Mm -hmm. We did it. She she recorded the audio mm -hmm. for the audi audible. Mm -hmm. um, uh, what the week we left for Hawaii? Yeah, and I'm in the studio listening to yeah. her record. She's like behind a, in a glass, right behind the glass, but we could hear it in the because we were in the tech room or what mm -hmm. do you call it, the engineer room. Mm -hmm. And she started talking about me or she started talking about Dason or she's talking about like chapter 10, which is like not having wanting to have kids. And I'm like ready to sob. And I'm yeah. like, I got to take a break. And True. Dason and I would walk to 7-Eleven down mm. the street and we would both be crying and talking <laughs> about it and whatever. So anyway, back to the tour. Um, it was amazing. And you guys are all freaking incredible. And mm -hmm. I just love the community you guys have built yeah. on Patreon, yeah. which is phenomenal. And it just makes me as a mom just like. Oh, I'm so grateful for all of you guys. And I'm yeah. so grateful that you guys are connecting with our kids mm -hmm. in, in such a special way. It's yeah. crazy, you know? Yeah. So, which is why in, in return, we want to do the best we can on this podcast for you guys. We mm -hmm. want to share everything with yeah. you. We, you know, we want to talk about everything. Yeah. You know, uh, give you a shout out if you deserve a shout out. Right. Well, or, it's not if you deserve a shout out. Well, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, like, like just giving, sharing love. Right. Yeah. That's yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. For sure. Because everyone deserves a shout out. Sure. But. Uh, I have no attention span and I am going <laughs> to apologize in advance. I'm like, I don't remember anyone's name and it's not, it's just, it was a whirlwind when yeah. we were out on tour, sure. but moving forward. Cause you know, we only touched base on Tennessee. Um, <laughs> then we went from Tennessee to Boston Yes, and we were still on the bus. Yes. Um, and you, um, we had a lot of time beforehand cause we got there early yeah. uh, to the, to the venue yeah. and you, Billy and Jared went yeah. to Fenway park. Yes, we did. And and uh, um, I didn't know they were going. I think you told me. Yeah, I did. These, these guys go to Fenway Park. And I was mm -hmm. like, I, at first I was like, eh, I don't want to go. And I'm then, all go. I've yeah. been, me and Evelyn went yeah. when we went on a business trip. Sure. And I was like, you got to go at least to say you went to the Green Monster. Yeah. Yeah. So so I went. And then mm -hmm. um, we just Ubered over there, which is what, it wasn't far. It was probably mm -hmm. like a 20 minute Uber. Mm -hmm. And uh, ran into the, they had a game going on mm -hmm. and it was just getting started and it was crowded and it was so many people and you could just feel the hype and my anxiety was up to the roof. So it was <laughs> a perfect place for you to be with your anxiety. Yeah. <laughs> it was out of control, right? <laughs> and then, um, and they were trying to, Billy and, and Jared had a specific uh, part of that stadium that they wanted to take, take a picture in front of because their parents had did it, I don't know when, but they remember it. Mm -hmm. And so we kept walking around the stadium and running into people and, yeah. you know, and m more people staring and, yeah. you know, and then more anxiety. And then Did anybody recognize you guys? No, I don't, not that I know of. Oh. Okay. I, I, I mean, they looked. Yeah. You know, I could feel the looks, but no one said anything. Well, you were also wearing an e lava lava. Yeah. 
Yeah. In Boston. Yeah. <laughs> it was hot as fuck. <laughs> I'm just saying, of course they're going to be looking at you because they're yeah. like, why is this giant dude wearing a skirt? That's <laughs> probably what they were thinking. Probably. Yeah. Probably. But it looked cool. We're going to, we'll pop a picture up here. It was yeah. awesome. Yeah. And then, and then um, I didn't think we were ever going to find it just because I was getting so anxious. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then finally Billy goes, I think that's it. And oh. then, and then we found it. Yeah. And it was perfect because there was cool. a guy standing right there and yeah. he took the picture of us. Aw. Yeah. That's really cool. Yeah. Um, I also remember, so that was your mm -hmm. core memory of Boston. Mm -hmm. I also remember, um, <laughs> oh my gosh, there was two. I didn't write the second one down on here, uh -huh. but first I remember, like I told Tate, they had, um, up in the balcony, they had seats for us mm -hmm. and I go, cool, let's go. Let's go sit up there. And he goes, mm -mm. I'm like, what do you mean? Mm -mm. He's like, I don't want to go. And I'm like, why? And he's like, uh, there's too many people and they're going to watch me walk up the stairs. And I was like, oh brother. So I was like, all right, peace out. Cause I want to get pictures, sure. you know, whatever. The whole mom thing. Mm -hmm. And so I was up there and I was taking pictures. And then part of the show was like Drew. Someone had during the Q&A, someone had asked uh, Jason and Drew about us. Like, mm -hmm. how do you feel about your parents being on tour with you? Blah, blah, mm -hmm. blah. And they're like, oh, and she's like, Drew's like, oh, man, they love it. Especially my dad. You know, <laughs> he loves it. In fact, and she looks to the side of the stage because Tate's standing behind stage. Right. And she goes, yeah, in fact, he's right here. We should have him come up. <laughs> and he said he almost shit his pants. <laughs> He's yeah, because like, Jason chimed in. <laughs> yeah, and Jason's like, oh, yeah, he yeah. would love let's get to him, come let's on get stage. It. And then Drew's all, let's get him up here, guys. Yeah, and everybody's like, yeah. And he's all, and then Drew goes, ah, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, we just like to do that to my dad because it's fun. <laughs> so I remember that. That was a yeah. fun memory for me because that was the first time they did it. Then it became a running bit at yeah. every show. They were like telling them, everybody turn around. And if we were sitting in the crowd, sometimes yeah. we're sitting in the crowd, they're so like, oh bad. yeah, my parents, our parents are right there. Turn yeah. around and look at my dad because he loves that. <laughs> and that became the running bit to every yeah. show after that. It was so funny. And then I remember during the meet and greet, right? There was a gal hmm. who uh, paid to come to the meet and greet. Mm -hmm. And it was every, like we said in episode one, every city was hot as fuck. Yeah. So people had to wait outside before they opened the venue because oh, they would yeah. get, some of them would get there, you guys, like three hours early. Yeah. And so they were waiting outside and it was really, really hot. And this right. one gal, she fainted. Yeah. So they had to call the ambulance. Yeah. They took her away. Right. And then literally the show's over. Yeah. The girls are upstairs <laughs> right. in the green room and they're getting ready to like change out of their, uh, their, their, um, tuxedos. Sure. Right. And, um, Alex comes up and she's like, Hey, there was a girl here. She missed it because, and we already knew about the ambulance. Sure. Like, oh my God, someone. So then, Knowing that, I'm like, bring them all in. I don't care. Open the venue early. Yeah. Let them stand in the foyer. Yeah. Hand out water if you have to. Like, yeah. we don't want anyone getting hurt. You yeah, know? It's too hot. It's too hot. <laughs> and then they were like, okay. So they did. And then afterwards, Alex comes back up and she's like, hey, remember the girl who fainted? And we're like, yeah. And she was like, she's here. And we're like, what? <laughs> and then she was like, yeah. Like, would you mind going back downstairs and like doing the meet and greet with her? And she was like, and the girls were like, oh my God. Yeah, yeah of course. Came down. <laughs> This girl, I guess, had um, donated plasma. Yeah, that day. Yeah. That day, which is, if you don't know, <laughs> I had to look it up. Like, when you do that, it's like giving blood, but yeah. way harsh. Yeah. Like, way, like, not harsh, but, like, way more yeah. um, dangerous. Yeah. Like, you're supposed to go home and rest. Yeah, like, you're not even supposed to drive. Yeah. Someone's supposed to drive you home. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't I know that. Like, they try to let you rest. Yeah. But typically, they won't let you leave that place until you're, you know oh, what I'm I saying? I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah. So I guess, because you know when you give blood, you can get woozy. That's yeah. why they make you wait, and then they make you, like, eat crackers and juice or whatever. Yeah. I guess it's the same, but, like, it's more, like, like crazier. Like, because they're taking, like, platelets out of your blood and recycling it or something like that, sure. right? So I was like, and I guess they pay you to do that. And she goes, she goes, yeah, you know, I, I donated plasma <laughs> before, and we were like, <laughs> and she goes, yeah, I guess I was, I was supposed to go home, but I didn't want to miss today. And she's like, and she said she went. Cause she, she was like, it was the best 150 bucks I made. <laughs> and I was like, how much was the ambulance drive though, man? Like what the hell? <laughs> I wanted to tell her, listen, these girls right here, they're not worth that. They're just, it's, they're not that important. I promise, you know, just to be funny. But then I was like, she doesn't know my sense of humor. So I'm not going to say anything, but it was, that's the dedication. Yeah. She's like, she didn't want to miss it. And she made her friend drive her back. Yeah. And she came at the very tail end of the show and then she found Alex and said, can I please? And like, she got her meet and greet. And she got her meet and greet. And like, I guess I don't think she was asking for the meet and greet. She was just asking for the VIP bag because you get a bag and a bookmark and, mm -hmm. and a copy of a signed copy of the book from mm -hmm. Drew. But I was like, and then Alex felt so bad. She yeah. came up and asked the girls if they would come back down and they said yes. So. Mm -hmm.
That was a core memory too. That's crazy. <laughs> okay, so that was uh, Boston. that was Boston. Yeah. Then we moved on to Ohio. Yeah. Uh, scariest venue we've ever been to. Yeah. What was it called? Commonwealth Ohio? Was that? I have no idea. You're probably right. I don't even know. But yeah. it was a Masonic yeah. building, and it was giant. Oh, it's huge. It was really scary because yeah. there was a bunch of like presentation rooms, like yeah. ballrooms, and then there was like this. Gi- two or three gigantic ballrooms and there were secret passages and then there was those (laughs) eyes like the evil eye (laughs) and their and their emblem or their their logo was everywhere Everywhere. and when i mean everywhere you guys i mean it was there were custom carpet yeah it was in the carpet it was in the carpet Mm -hmm. it was in the wallpaper it was etched in the wood it was yeah nuts it was everywhere so i haven't gone on a rabbit hole yet no but it was the very, Mason, the Freemasons and the Masonic Lodge. Yeah. But it sounds sounds a little racist to me. <laughs> that's just me. And if it's not, I'm that's me. I got to go down the rabbit hole and learn about it. Yeah. But it was pretty nutty. Yeah, it was pretty crazy. Like, interesting. Yeah. yeah like, a really interesting. Yeah. Like, it, man, this is nuts. Yeah. And that building was, like, over 100 years old. Yeah. So I'm like, there's got to be secret tunnels. Yeah. Like, it was. And I'm, I'm an architecture geek. Yeah. So just seeing the old, sure. like, carved wood Yeah, or whatever, it's been there for a minute. It was crazy. And <laughs> yeah. then it was getting scared, right? And then we <laughs> went in this, like, dark, like, hallway. like, But it was, like, a secret passageway. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I scared the shit out of Adam. And it was it made me laugh so hard. <laughs> and no, no, no. It wasn't Adam. It was Phil. Was it Phil? Oh, yeah, it was Phil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah Adam, Adam would have punched me in the nose if yeah. I had that to him. No, it, it was Phil. And I was like, ah! <laughs> It feels like the nervous, the serial killer laugh. And I was like, oh, man, that makes me laugh so much. But anyway, um, but yeah, so it was a scary venue. Mm-hmm. Um, that was one core memory. And then the other core memory for me was there was this guy and he was supposed to help with loading and unloading or whatever. Yeah. And he kept coughing yeah. uncontrollably at the end of the night. Right. We're packing up, getting ready to go. Yeah, I didn't hear him throughout the time when we first got there. No, because he wasn't there. I think oh, okay. he, he had second shift, maybe. I okay. don't know. But yeah. he came and he was outside the women's restroom where we were at, where our green room at was yeah. at. Not the public restroom, but the one that we were supposed to be using. Mm-hmm. And he kept coughing and he was coughing. He was sitting outside on a chair, <laughs> like coughing, coughing, coughing. <laughs> and then we were in the green room and then I kept hearing it. And I was like, and then I think it was Carrie that said, man, that's so gross. That guy's not even, he's coughing and he's not even covering his mouth (laughs) that's one of my biggest pet peeves right you're supposed to use your elbow right or put your shirt over your face and then cough did we learn nothing from covid (laughs) i mean come on so i I keep hearing him carrie has asthma um someone else has we had like two or three people that were immunocompromised in our party Mm -hmm. and i was like dude and he's supposed to come in here and help us uh, you know pick up all our shit no so then i walked and then everyone was like yeah it's so gross it's so gross so I was like, okay. So I walked over to the door and the other guy came in mm-hmm. and he goes, okay. He opens the doors, right? Yeah. He goes, oh, you know, hey, I'm here to help, you know, bring your other stuff. And then the coughing guy was behind him. Right behind him. And I said, they were right about to walk in and I walked in front of him and I go, hold on. Which one of you guys is coughing? Because I didn't <laughs> see. I didn't know who it was. They were just telling me about it. I go, hey, which one of you guys is coughing up a storm? And I was very serious. And the guy was like, and then he goes like this. <laughs> just rats him out. He rats his ass out and he goes, he moves out of the way and he points with his thumb to the behind him, right? But before that, I see out of the corner of my eye, I see this guy leave. Yeah. I see Alex run the other way. Yeah. And Carrie was on, there was a stage, yeah. like an actual stage in our green room mm-hmm. with a curtain. And she was changing behind the curtain, yeah. right? And she comes out and she's, I look over there and she sees me and she goes, <laughs> and she hides behind the curtain. Everyone ditches me because they're so embarrassed because I was like, Gonna tell the guy, hey. So I go, which one of you guys coughing? The front guy goes like that. And then I look at the guy who's coughing and I go, yeah, you can't come in here. <laughs> and he's like, oh, but I was gonna help. And I go, nah, not with that cough. <laughs> nope. Nope. Can't have you in here. I have three immu- immunocompromised people in here and we cannot get sick because we have many places to go for the rest of this tour. And he was so, he was like, okay. I was like, hey, in my head. I'm like, Hey, fucker, yeah. you're the one that has germs. And you're not even covering your <laughs> mouth. Don't make me say it. You're going to make me say it. He's going to make me say it. But he just like rolled his eyes and walked away. And I was like, go sit down, dude. You, yeah. In fact, you're sick. You shouldn't even be here. Right. So that was another core memory. <laughs> that was Ohio, guys. 
<laughs> there was another guy earlier that was helping us. He was really nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was really good. There was a couple guys. Yeah. Not just him. But that guy. Yeah. But that guy, yeah. Didn't cover your Sh- mouth? Second shift. Where'd you come from, bud? Dude, and it was like a, it was like a wet cough, too. So I was like, mm, yeah. I'm like, where the hell did you come yeah, from? Yeah, it's like the, the sun went down and then yeah. this guy came. <laughs> <laughs> what, what's happening right now? <laughs> yeah. What is happening? <laughs> and I was like, no, you can't come in. Yeah. <laughs> and these fuckers all left because they were all embarrassed because they wanted someone to tell them. They just didn't want to tell them. So everybody left me high and dry, but I, I didn't care. They like, wanted whatever. someone to tell them, but I didn't think you were going to tell them. <laughs> you know what I mean? I know everyone's like, ew, fuck that guy. He's gross. Yeah. And then I'm like, oh, I'll tell him. And they're like, ah. Oh, and they all ran. It just happened. But I mean, it just happened in sequence. We were yeah. talking about it. Everyone's getting riled up. We're getting ready to move our stuff. And then bam, the door opens. Yeah. And then they, the guy comes in. I go, hold on. <laughs> Stop right there. Pump your brakes. Yeah. But anyway, I'm that guy. I'm the one who will do whatever it takes to make sure everybody's safe. But anyway, okay, that was Ohio. Sure. Then we go to Chicago. Chicago. Um, let me tell you something. Another hot town. <laughs> this venue was so hot. Yeah. Not only in the venue, but we were upstairs yeah. in this gross green room because it looked like a bunch of little <laughs> rooms, like an apartment upstairs. Yeah. It was hot as fuck. It yeah. was gross. I'm like, I don't want to touch anything in here. <laughs> they had to go buy us box fans because it was the AC was not working up no, there. It was gross. At all. At all. Mm-mm. So it was miserable upstairs and it was miserable downstairs for all of you guys. <laughs> but they had these gigantic fans. Yeah, they were like we tur- turbo turbine fans. Like yeah. like the ones that are on the back of a boat in Florida. Yeah. Like they were giant. They were, they were, they were, it was, and it, when we first walked in, the old things were on. Yeah. And it felt good. And it felt good. But when you put 300 oh, people true. in there, true. it gets really hot. Right. Yeah. And it got hot and it got like muggy in there. And we were sitting in the back back, like mm-hmm. the, like in the like turf area because it was like a turf where we yeah. had the meet and greet. Yeah. Um, but speaking of the meet and greet, this is my core memory. Mm. One of the sweetest fans uh, followers came by herself and she said, um, I think she was by herself because she came through the meet and greet by herself. But mm-hmm. she said, I looked up the venue and I looked up the, the reviews on the venue and mm-hmm. it said, this is one of the hottest venues ever. It's hot I as remember. fuck. So be sure to take a fan. So she said to the girls, I know you guys always talk about how you're swe- <laughs> you, you sweat a lot. Yeah. So I thought this would help you when I looked up the reviews because yeah. it's really hot here. And she <laughs> got a Ryobi fan yeah. that came with a, a big old battery to put on the bottom. And she that was one of her gifts. Yeah. And I was like, that's a core memory. That's so thoughtful. Yeah, and in, in the nick of time. Yeah, and let me tell you something. We use that fan everywhere. <laughs> everywhere. Adam's like, "Where's the green fan? Where's the green <laughs> fan?" And it was so nice, but it was so thoughtful. That was a core memory for me. Mm-hmm. Um, what else? Uh, oh, you were saying about the fans, about yeah. the, the the followers that came, the yeah. people that came. The, like I couldn't believe they all stayed. <laughs> yeah, no matter how hot it was. It was so it was, I felt so hot. bad. I was sitting in the back. So we were sitting separate from them. Yeah. You know, by our where the merch table was. Yeah. And yeah, I remember going, man, it's hot in here. And yeah. then I you know, everyone else is sitting in front of me enjoying mm-hmm. the show. And I'm thinking, man, no one's moving. No one's moving. And by the way, we were sitting in the back and I was using the green fan. <laughs> 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 from that fan, I was like, from the girl that brought it, I was like, oh, man, this thing's yeah. a godsend. I only saw two people leave before mm. the end of the show, and it was a guy, and he just looked like, he looked like he didn't want to be there. His girlfriend looked like she wanted to be there. Oh, okay. And he was dressed, like, with his shirt unbuttoned down to his belly button. He looked like he was going to go to the club afterwards. Oh. And he got up, and he was like, they were talking, and then they got up, and she was all... So I'm assuming she didn't want to leave, but sure. she was probably like, it's too fucking hot in here. Yeah. Those are the only two people I saw leave. And by the way, the girl looked like she didn't want to leave. He looked like he wanted to leave. Sure. But everyone else in there, you know, 300 people. Yeah. Stayed. stayed. Laughed. Yeah. And asked questions. Oh, I had a brain blast. So I remember another VIP, right? It was sisters. Yeah. There was two sisters that bought uh, tickets. Well, her boyfriend, one of the sisters, the boyfriend bought, uh, or is it her husband? I think it was her husband, Mm -hmm. bought her tickets, bought her and her sister tickets to go to the show, Mm -hmm. right? And bought them tickets to go to the VIP. Yes. And, but all the emails were going to him to him and he doesn't check his email. Yeah. And so (laughs) they thought the meet and greet was after the show. Yeah. So after the show, they're like, why isn't there any, you know, where's everybody going? Yeah. And then they found Alex and they were like, and they were 
the the sister whose husband bought the tickets mm-hmm. sobbing. She's yeah. like, "We what do you mean we missed the meet and greet?" Yeah. She was crying so hard. And then Alex felt bad and came back upstairs and said, yeah. "Hey guys, sorry this yeah. one." And then there were the girls were like, "Yeah, of course." So yeah. they came down and she was so excited, yeah. so happy that her and her sister got to meet them. Yeah. And she goes, "We didn't even expect this. We were just thought, can we just get our bags and sure. our books and, you know, thank you so much for coming back down here and it was really cute." Yeah. Yeah, made me tear up. So. Chicago, Chi Town. Chi Town. That was Chi Town. Yeah. yeah. Um, you want to talk about Nashville? Tennessee. Oh wait, we already talked about Tennessee. Yeah, why is it there twice? I don't know. Is that our next? So here's the thing. Yeah, sorry, I wrote this in the wrong. It's my dyslexia. We went from <laughs> we didn't go from New Jersey to Tennessee. When I first said that, I thought that's not right. You went from Chicago to Tennessee. No, no, no. Yeah, so we went from New Jersey to Boston. Yeah. And then, uh, and then yeah. Nashville was after Chicago. Yeah. And then we already talked about that. Yeah. I, that's when I talked about the pedicure and the boots and <laughs> oh, and also the girls, uh, Jason and yeah. Carrie. And Keisha, our tour manager, mm-hmm. Jared, Al, um, and Adam, Adam, they went to one of the very few uh, lesbian bars that are left in the United States yeah. um, in Tennessee. And that was the Lipstick Lounge Bar. Yeah, they had been talking about it. So they went, they had karaoke that night, and yeah. they had a blast. So they did some shots, and they drank, and yeah. they uh, put Keisha, because I guess Keisha's like classically trained um, Yeah. Uh, singer yeah and um they didn't call her name because we had to leave yeah the bus was leaving at midnight so she's like dang it we gotta go but anyway they did that that was cool mm-hmm. so then we went from nashville to atlanta atlanta and let me yeah. tell you something guys this was um this was the day that we found out that drew made the new york yeah. times bestseller list yeah and uh a- alex came we were all in the green room mm-hmm. and alex came and i wasn't feeling good dude because i was uh working um, well, first of all, my back was hurt yeah. from doing my boot dance. And um, <laughs> I think it was already hurting, I think, because I heard it lifting weights. Um, but then it got worse when I was, you know, <laughs> doing the snazzy dancing in the boots. But um, I was also working, because um, mm-hmm. for those of you who don't know, we're financial planners. Mm-hmm. So I was working and helping a client um, on my computer. My back was hurting. I wasn't in the best mood. And then Alex comes over. She goes, Well, can I talk to you out in the hallway? And I go, in my head, I'm like, no, I don't want to hear any bad news because I'm not feeling good right now, right? So I go out, out in the hallway, and she goes, Drew, hit the list. She hit the list. And uh, we want to. Um, we have um, her publicist, yeah. her literary agent. Everybody was, like, on, on Zoom. Yeah. And um, she was like, and we want to, like, tell her in person. And we're yeah. like, oh, my God, okay. Immediately felt better. Yeah. So then we went, and I was videotaping the whole thing. And well, I'll, I'll, Before you go any further, I want to say we had been talking about this throughout the beat since the tour yeah. started. yeah. Is she going to make it? Are we? Are she? I never said is she going to make it. I always knew. I said I. I did. I not say. No, 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 yeah. But I'm just saying when she makes it. Yeah, yeah. we were just talking about it. We were like, and then we were. I'm nervous. Yeah, I'm sure everyone else was nervous. And we knew it was going to be that day because her literary agent said on Wednesday we're going to find out. We're going to. And it's usually not till the evening time. Yeah. Right. And so at 4:30, her agent like text us and i was like oh and i missed the text because i was working and doing helping a client sure but uh yeah and so i videotaped i'll put some pictures up here but i'm sure you guys already saw because drew you know posted and she goes yeah. and i'm on my period <laughs> you know and it was so cute um but yeah she made the list yeah. and that took so much pressure off of her yeah. and she had just had the best time ever after that yeah because that was a milestone she wanted to hit and she hit it and then yeah. she hit it again the next week so yeah super core memory man we yeah just Sitting there in the, in the green room, and mm-hmm. we're all just cheering and yeah. saying congratulations. And just so the, the Atlanta show, mm-hmm. literally three hours or two and a half hours before the show started is when she found out. Yeah. So you guys were the first, first ones, ones yeah. to hear about it. Yeah. So it wasn't posted anywhere no. yet or anything. So you guys were the, you guys got that sneak peek yeah. before anyone else. So then we went from Atlanta to Orlando. Yeah, Florida. And... um. We got a Carrie got a cake, yeah. um, and her mom actually drove from North Carolina to Orlando yeah. to watch the show. Her and her sister, so mm-hmm. that was cute to see yeah. them and meet Carrie's sister for the first time. Right. And then they got a um, a cake, which mm-hmm. we'll put up here. A lot of you guys have already seen it because Drew posted about it already. But yeah. um, it, they wouldn't write the word "bitch" yeah. <laughs> on the cake. It said New York. I'm a New York Times bestseller, bitch. Yeah. And they wouldn't. So Carrie had to like get frosting <laughs> and do it herself because they wouldn't do it. Which I thought was hilarious, um, and it came out great. And it came out awesome. <laughs> and then um, she hit the list again yeah. the very next week. Um, you know, to, it's really hard. It's hard enough to get on that list I know. one time, but to be on it two for weeks. two weeks in a yeah. row back to back. Um, is crazy. Mm-hmm. So, 
Anyway, so then we went from Orlando to uh, Fort Lauderdale. Fort Lauderdale. Yeah. Um, and then yeah. we got to go to the beach. Yeah. Which that, was awesome. That was pretty wild. I, I don't know if you remember the drive. Anyway. Yeah, anyways. Uh, I just remember waking up at Fort Lauderdale and we're at the beach. Yeah. Fort like, Lauderdale. Yeah, it was pretty crazy. Yeah. So Tate and I got up really early. Mm-hmm. Um, well, we were always like the first ones, usually the first ones to get up, um, or just be up and just not get out of our bunks yet. Yeah. But that day I was like, dude, let's get up. Let's go, you know, whatever. Yeah. So he's like, okay. And so we got up, we were the first ones out yeah. and it was like seven in the morning, six thirty mm-hmm. in the morning. And as soon as we walked out of the bus, we looked to the right and it was like the beach. Yeah. It was so beautiful. Yeah. The sun was rising, barely rising up. Yeah. So I took a picture of it and sent it to the group chat. Yeah. And then we went to the room and then everybody started like after they started waking up, like, yeah. oh, my gosh, everybody grab their suits. Let's, yeah, let's go. go to the beach. Yeah. And so we did. Yeah. We had a blast. And it was fun. And we were only there for like an hour because then this major storm <laughs> rolled in like black clouds and then Thunder. lightning. <laughs> lightning. The lightning yeah. was coming down and we're like, oh, time to pack up. <laughs> time to go. <laughs> but it ended up working out perfect because, um, well, we went to work out first yeah. and then we did that. But um, it was so funny because in the group chat. They're like, okay, we're not going to work out today because Adam would always work out every day too. Yeah. He's like, oh, I'm not going to work out today. And I go in, in the text chain, I go, well, I guess we're better than all of you guys because we already <laughs> worked out. But yes, we'll join you at the beach too. So we'll put some pictures over here too, but it was really yeah, fun. It was um, so fun. Had, a, had an awesome time. Mm-hmm. And then that night, great show. Yeah. Everyone was gracious. Yeah. So fun. Then that night, I never eat late because I have ulcers and mm-hmm. then if you eat late you can't sleep really good and i already have insomnia <laughs> um because i can't shut my damn brain off yeah. um but that night for whatever reason i bought cereal i put cereal life cereal is one of my favorite cereals yeah. i put it on the writer yeah. we got back to the bus at like 11 30 at night and i go damn i'm gonna have a bowl of cereal yeah big mistake <laughs> had a bowl of cereal went to bed yeah. woke up at two in the morning barfing my guts yeah and by the way i'm a professional vomiter so <laughs> I always get sick for whatever reason. And I, when I woke up out of a dead sleep and I go, oh, no, because I know the signs, right? <laughs> and I was thinking, am I allowed to barf in the toilet on yeah. the bus? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Does that count as poop? I don't know. Because yeah. you're not supposed to poop on the bus because it'll clog the pipes. Sure. And I was no, like. No, it just stinks. Well, I was nervous. Yeah. And I was like, oh, no. So guess what? I took my boots out of my <laughs> boot bag and I literally was vomiting in the boot bag. in a boot barn bag yeah. for pr- probably about four hours. Sure. And I was all like, it was so gross. And it was a really thick bag. Mm-hmm. And I filled it almost all the way up. Huh? Yeah. It was like five pounds of vomit, guys. It was yeah. pretty bad. So I got sick mm-hmm. from our way to Fort Lauderdale. From to Fort Lauderdale to Clearwater. Yeah. 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 And we woke, I woke, we woke up. It was early, like two. Like I, I, I found you mm-hmm. in the living room and then. I was like, holy crap. So we stayed up with you until we got to the hotel, which mm-hmm. was like around another two hours, I think, that we were sitting out in the living room. And then I'm like, fuck it, man. Let's just go to the room. Yeah. So we got our <laughs> keys know? and went to the, because yeah. thankfully we had our keys already. Yeah. So we did that. And then, dude, I'm looking out of the, like, I'm looking out of the window mm-hmm. and I'm like, you can see the beach yeah. again. And it was so beautiful. And mm-hmm. then Alex, Adam, and Carrie went to the beach and we're sending pictures. And I was like, damn it. Yeah. I to go to the beach but i was not feeling good Mm-mm. so that was uh clear water when we woke up yeah and it was the nicest venue yeah. out of the entire yeah, it, tour it was so beautiful it was beautiful so well kept so fucking clean yeah, everything it was amazing yeah. the staff was amazing yes and then there was like crazy stuff that was happening across yeah. the street i guess the scientology and there was another venue yes. <clears throat> where they were Slash was playing. Yeah. And that was a sold out concert. Mm-hmm. And then ours was still sold out, yeah. even though there was a Slash concert. It's pretty cool. The funniest thing, dude. So we're in the bus and some guy comes in, like is knocking. I guess he was knocking or he was about to. No, he wasn't knocking. He was by the bus. Yeah. And Billy was getting ready to go on the bus. Mm-hmm. And he goes, hey, man, is Slash in there? And he <laughs> goes, he goes, he goes, is this Slash's bus? He goes, yep. <laughs> <laughs> And then Drew goes, why would you say that? He goes, because it's just easier than trying to explain, hey, it's these two girls that have a, they talk about, anyway, he said it was just easier. And he goes, okay, can you give him, can you give him this note? And he goes, yeah, sure. And then the note said something like, we love you slash from, what was it? I don't know. Like, 
couch potato Tony or something like that. <laughs> it was like some weird odd name and it, we were dying and we were, and Drew was like, you're so annoying. And he goes, it was easier. And Jared was laughing because Jared was standing there the whole time. And he was like, it was just easier to like, just say, yep. And then take the note from him. <laughs> Because our bus was literally parked right outside the venue. Yeah. And then afterwards, we also, someone came up and got us and said, mm-hmm. hey, there's people down here that know you. And, yeah. and we're like, what? Long story short, it was the sister of someone that we went to high school. I went to high school with. Yeah. And she brought her daughter because her daughter is a huge fan of the girls. Mm-hmm. They each bought a book. Mm-hmm. And then, but they drove two hours from yeah. wherever they were at in Florida to yeah. come to the show. And they just thought it was amazing. And they waited and waited and waited until almost midnight to, for us to come out. And I guess yeah. there were some cops out there and they're like, hey man, you guys got to keep it moving. And they're like, oh no, 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 it's our family and they're yeah. coming out right now. Yeah. And I was like, oh, so we went out and said hi to them. Mm-hmm. And I thought that was so sweet. Yeah. She's like, you probably don't remember me. I was way older than you. And <laughs> da, da, da. I was like, oh, okay. But she brought her daughter and they drove two hours and. We're all about Polynesians, man. So anyway, that was really, really cool. It was. Yeah. A so, beautiful experience. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And then from Clearwater, we went to Houston. Mm-hmm. But listen, from Clearwater, we went back to the hotel. Yeah. Then we flew out the next morning. Yes. And this, you guys may have seen on Drew's Instagram. Mm-hmm. We were racially profiled. First of all, we walk in there and we go to the ticketing <laughs> desk to check in, right? Yeah. And some lady in like a vest... It looked like she worked on the tarmac mm-hmm. was like, oh, this is only for first class. And she said it to Carrie and Carrie goes, OK. And she goes, are you first class? And she goes, yes. Yeah. So she goes, oh, OK. And then Adam comes behind her and she goes, you too. And he goes, yep. And then he sees me and Tate. Yeah. And she goes, all of you guys are first class. <laughs> and I was all, bitch, get back on the car- tarmac. <laughs> this is, it's too fucking early for this shit. <laughs> and she was like, I go, uh, yeah, we are. And then she, I go, do you work here in the ticket booth? She goes, no. And I go, then what are you asking for? <laughs> and then she was like, oh. But I was like, girl, it, now is not the time. Yeah. So that was the first thing. Yeah. Then we got to get on a train, mm-hmm. right? We check all our luggage in. We get on a train to go to TSA. Yeah. We go through TSA, long ass line. Yeah. We get there, which by the way, we're like, man, this, we are still waiting for our global entry interview. <laughs> and because we applied a long time ago, but we still haven't had it. Um, we get there. Yeah. We get up to the thing. They have, they're like, oh, this doesn't match to me. Yeah. Your birthday doesn't match your ticket, which yeah. it didn't. It was wrong. No. And then I go, what the hell? First, I look over. I see Keisha, our tour manager, getting denied. And she's like, they got my stuff wrong. I got to go back. Yeah, I think it was her birthday. They got her birthday wrong. Yeah. Then, and I was like, oh, man, that sucks. I go up there and he goes, yeah, yours doesn't match. I go, what? <laughs> so I got fucked. Yeah. So I had to go back with Keisha. Mm-hmm. Then Billy, they're like, yeah, no. Your gender doesn't match. Yeah. They had female on his <laughs> on his ticket. Obviously, he's not a female. Yeah. So he got fucked. And then Drew's pissed. So we all went back down. Dason goes, wait, let me come with you guys. So, And then this guy, he took off. He went through TSA. Adam went through TSA. Yeah. Carrie and Alex. Alex. So the rest of us went back down to ticketing, had mm-hmm. to take the train. Go all the way. They fix it. We come back. Then they try to do the same thing to, to uh, Billy. Again? They're like, yeah. And by the way, these were all white people that were <laughs> looking at all of us and whatever. So we were like, what? What the hell? So anyway, <laughs> we go through and then they don't want to let Billy through because they're like, no, it hasn't been changed yet, blah, blah, blah. And we were yeah. like, oh, my God. Right. So and then the only reason why I say it's racially profiled, because the, the white lady that was standing behind me that was in my back pocket because, you know, she wants to run through me. <laughs> hers didn't match either. I heard him say, oh, yours doesn't match, but you go ahead. I was like, I wanted to make a scene so bad. but I didn't I was, know that. Mm-hmm. I remember hearing that. Yeah. So, and then something else happened with Billy too. So anyway, we go through. Yeah. We go. He goes back. They finally let him through. He goes through TSA. Mm-hmm. And then they say, after all his shit goes through the thing, and they're like, oh, oh no, you have to take everything out of your little luggage sure. carry-on. Yeah. Which o- the only thing he had in there was his PS5. Yeah. And he was like, no other airport made us do that. No. So they did that. We're all, literally, we have seven minutes to get, yeah. they're going to close the, the, the doors. So I'm like, what the fuck? And so we just grab all his stuff yeah. and we're running mm-hmm. basically to the thing. And it was, thankfully it was close. Mm-hmm. And then this girl was like, Hey Drew, <laughs> Hey girl. And we all turned around cause we were, we had stopped to open the thing and Billy's holding the open suitcase like this. Yeah. And all of us are trying to put everything back in yeah. to help him. 
And she's like doing that. And we're all in unison. All four of us go, hey, now's not the time. We're about to lose, yeah. uh, le- miss, miss flight. our flight. And she was like, oh, oh, yeah, okay, that's fine. Yeah. And then she does a nasty ass TikTok about sure. it. Anyway, so we we figured that out. But we're running to the gate. Yeah. Alex is tap dancing, ta 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 ta, <laughs> and trying to kiss everyone's ass to yeah. keep the doors open because they wanted to close it. And she yeah. succeeded. Yeah. Listen, there was only 10 seats in first class. Yeah. And we took up eight of them. Mm-hmm. So there was only two guys in there mm-hmm. that were not part of our party. We're right about to get on. And then Jared goes, hey, um, we we got five more minutes. I'm going to go get a cocktail. <laughs> I'm like, it's six in the morning. What are you doing? Yeah. Or he said a drink. I don't know if it was a cocktail. He just said drink. He just said drink. Yeah. I thought he said cocktail. And then, uh, well, or I thought he meant cocktail. So then sure. we get in there. Alex is like, oh, my God, if he misses this plane, it's going to be my fault, whatever. <laughs> so we do that. So he finally gets on, whatever. And then we walk in there and I'm pissed, right? I'm pissed because all this craziness was happening in the morning. Yeah. And I start calming down because I'm like, okay, we made the flight. I'm fine. Yeah. We walk on there. These two guys, two white guys on the plane were like looking at each other like, what's going on here? Yeah. And I was already in a, in a mood. So I was like, what? You've never seen a bunch of brown people in first class? And then he was <laughs> like, all right. And on that night, guys... <laughs> We got to go to part three because we have nine more to go. And I had a feeling we weren't going to get through. I thought we were going to get all of them, but apparently not. No, because there's... There's so much. It was a month-long tour. So we're going to do part three. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we do have a quote of the day. Mm -hmm. And it says, memories are made in moments that cannot be bought, only experienced. I'll slow it down. Memories are made in moments Mm -hmm. that cannot be bought. Only experienced. Only experienced. Right? Yes. You can't pay for experience. Yeah. No. You can pay for an experience. Sure. But you can't pay for the experience. Sure. Right? Yeah. So anyway, all that to say, you guys, always invest in your memories. And I said that on the first podcast, too. You've said it forever Mm -hmm. since since we've been together. Yeah. So just, you know what I mean? So like if you have the opportunity to experience something, either a first or like a first experience or experience of a lifetime mm-hmm. and maybe you're too scared maybe you don't, like a lot of those people who said i came by myself that's an experience and that's, that's them huge. investing in themselves even though they're scared to do something on their own yeah. that's what i'm talking about and just like take advantage of yeah. the opportunity to create experiences because you ultimately create memories sure right yes so okay on that note you guys we will see you in part three love you guys bye bye